the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We have spent quite a few days on Philippians 3.13. And uh, no surprise, because it's such a critical verse that affects our past, present, and future. Today, I want to look at the last part of that verse, Philippians 3.13. Forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead. Straining toward what is ahead. Other translations use the word reaching forward. And the picture here is that of a runner on a racetrack. It means to stretch one's muscles to their limit, attempting energetically to attain a state or condition. In your mind's eye, just form a picture of a runner. The runner's head, shoulders, and chest are bent forward, and his eye is fixed upon the goal, the tape at the end of the race. And he wants to be the first to breast the tape and uh, reach his goal. So we are all running in the race of life and we need to strain forward, to bend forward, to lean forward to achieving the goal that God has for us. Now we need to keep in mind that the goal of the Christian race is the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. But it, it, the Bible also talks about the price. The price of the Christian race is the perfections of the Lord Jesus Christ. So again, let me repeat. The goal is the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the price is the perfections of the Lord Jesus Christ. And by perfections, we mean that uh, we become more Christ-like. We become more like him. What a wonderful price God has in store for us, that we become morally more like the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. So Paul is saying, don't fear the future. The future is as bright as the promises of God. And there is nothing that can happen to you and to me, which is not already foreknown and included within the permissive will of God. And that also includes all the negatives that happen in our life. From the example of the past, the man of the present acts prudently so as not to imperil the future. The Spirit of Christ will enable us to live fully in the present as we gain wisdom from the past and face the future with courage. That's a great statement and it bears repetition. The spirit of Christ will enable us to live fully in the present as we gain wisdom from the past and face the future with courage. Any motion toward God is a forward motion. Repentance is not a retreat toward the past, but a decided march into a more glorious future. Restitution is not a return to yesterday, but a step into a blessed tomorrow. And here is a prayer that we can all pray. Thou, O Christ, art all I want, may thy grace abound toward me, so that having all sufficiency in all things, I may abound in every good work. That is what is meant by straining forward, leaning forward into the future. Don't live in the past, shackled by the past, but face the future with courage. And God has something wonderful for each one of us as we anticipate a blessed tomorrow.
May the Lord give all of us grace to so live. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.